Yeah, my so my family uh, is from the the Toisan region of China, a very poor part of the country, um, southern China, where a lot of the early immigrants to North America are from. And so if I go back through some of the records of, of my family's history, which there aren't a lot of, um, I actually was able to find two head tax certificates. Wow. So one of them was uh, from, I think, around 1911, and that was my great-great-grandfather. And then another one must have been dated 19... I can't remember off the top of my head, but 1918, maybe very early on in the 1900s as well. That was my great grandfather. And they, they came to Canada because it was going to be opportunity. The region and the villages that they were from were very poor. And that was the generation where uh, the entire village would pool together money to send one man from the village to Canada. And in return, he needed to send money back to the village to feed all of the other families that have basically pooled money to make this happen. And it was described as a risk to do this. You had to pick the one man in the village who would be able to tough it out, who wouldn't have made it a waste of an investment because I've heard those stories before where they send a man and, and he hates it so much he has to come home and they've just wasted all this money on the papers for this guy that couldn't cut it. And so my family's history is, is rooted in, in that and in that mindset of survival. And so as a result, my grandparents grew up in that generation of, you know, their father was in Canada working and their mother was back home with, with the two boys, um, raising the family, never really saw their father. And, and that's, that's the story of a lot of uh, Chinese immigrants as well who were of, of that same vintage.